cowbell. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. What would you do with the most disrespectful life? So some animals have different cues yeah, that they respond to. Uh, for like that they associate with food to get them to move from one location to another freely and willingly. Um, that's how we would usually call an animal like back into the barn or to a specific spot. Uh, like in the aviary if we need to get a close up look at a large group of a specific species of birds. We know that we can train certain species to associate a sound with being in a specific place, right? Uh, so a lot of our birds are trained to kind of flock down to a specific spot when they hear that noise. So we can observe all of the, the population and ID them based off of the tags that are on their, on their legs. So they have these little ID tags uh, that are different colors and based on the different color, we can know which is the whole combination of Um, anyway, sorry, I got distracted. Grace. Um, <laughs> Back on track. Uh, is a really great organization, and they actually help to uh, uh, capture injured gorillas, rehabilitate them, among other gorillas that are there. If gorillas have to be caught up more than twice, like a third time, they may be deemed unfit for release, and they just kind of live out the rest of their days happy and healthy in this, like, essentially, like, thousand days or like type of environment like it's massive there's hundreds of acres there uh that they have uh for these gorillas in that facility you gotta look at pictures of it it's fantastic um but at this rehab center like the gorillas are safe from predators and are able to uh, get back to full health and strength and then go back out into the wild to do whatever they need to do but they get to be rehab with as minimal human interaction as possible. So that way they still maintain that, you know, people are need to be avoided and not people are, you, I can use them to get what I need, right? So they'll stay away from people. So we get to try not to get them uh, desensitized to human interaction by having as little, bit, little interaction as possible uh, in the facility. And it's all run by locals in the area. Uh, and it's amazing. Yeah. And uh, things like the Disney Conservation Fund uh, will actually uh, fund projects that for Grace. If Grace wants to apply to do a specific thing and they need money for it, uh, they can put in a grant submission to the Disney Conservation Fund and be partially orphaned. First certified project, and any nonprofit organization that has any kind of conservation mission or something related to conservation that they want to achieve uh, can put in a, a grant submission to DCF. Uh, 